I kind of respected though. 10 on PS2. Maybe oh, not. No. Well, mix up Team Galactic. Galactic. Right. Yo, Frost with the mix up though? I'm shook. Insane mix up. Insane mix up coming out here from Frost before the game even starts. Wouldn't you know it? It's a fourth wall breaking type. What? A piranha plant? Sir? I see Felix on Mars, but have you seen that now? Okay, okay, okay. We're going calm. We're going calm. Now we yeah, can start the match. Felix is still sticking to the Marth. Order has been restored. Three, two, to be honest though, if you kinda if you kinda sauced up the Marth, and you're kinda feeling it still, and it hasn't even been like what like two minutes since the last set. I can see it, just test it out, see what happens. And then if not, there's plenty of other uh, characters that Felix can definitely and uh, confidently switch back over to. And as someone who plays this matchup, like semi frequently, it's it's doable. It's pretty doable. Well, I just have to see. Uh, good. That was a great, good fair trade right there. Both of them just yep. jumping up, bearing and whipping. But yep. Very consistent with this type of matchup. Here we go. We got our side B string. No punish there. for the up smash. It was a Felix up smash. How could you punish it? Yeah. Kind of unpunishable, can be honest. Ooh, double Jair. Double Jair. Aggressive. Oh, oh yeah, that's I'd be seeing. Yeah. That's I'd be seeing is a little aggressive, and you're right, it's gonna be punished there pretty uh, efficiently. Not wasting any time on that one there. Okay, we gotta be careful though, because uh, any one of those uh, tilts are well spaced, and yeah, we seeing some big dammy. Boss. Like if that side B would have just been a little bit more slowed down in time properly, it probably could have been doing some numbers. Good DI getting out of the up B, but Ooh. just falling into Nair, Nair F smash, Nair, Nair F one to smash, F smash. Man. I feel like that's that a combo is true for most multi hit Nairs in this game. Uh, most of them, yeah. Most of them. They have something stupid that goes with their Nair. That's true. Like, like good Falcon. number of characters that have something like that. Yep, Falcon has that. Most sorties do. Hmm. Yeah, that was that was that was kind of a three stop, wasn't it? Yeah. I I thought Felix took one. Then I didn't look at the stock nah. count. I it got it got kind of close for like she landed a, like for example like that side speed string, but like it could have been a stock, but yeah, nothing yet. And off we go to the sheep. Yeah, which to be honest, I kind of saw that coming there. I was like, you know, the, the Marth was kind of fresh uh, for the Arconi Banjo matchup, but I mean, Frost is kind of running what he knows. And I'm sure Felix knows how to play Marth. It kind of showed there, but um, there's definitely a good number of characters that she definitely knows how to do way better. Yeah. But right now, Frost is showing that he has this matchup unlocked. Not, not allowing Felix to get anything off. Off for uh, starters. Yeah, nothing really quite yet, but we say that. We already have our first good string here following up. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, that was actually good. That was a good backup option with that uh, back here for the whiff downbeat. Yeah. And spaced it perfectly for that. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough, uh, wasn't enough uh, what's it called, knockback to fully spike Krom. Yeah, not just yet, unfortunately, but we do still have things in Felix's favor nonetheless, and she's definitely not wasting any time for expanding that lead into something uh, better for her here. Ooh, excellent punish there on that roll with a down smash. And that's stock number one at a healthy 45, no less. Yeah, she actually got a kill. And yeah, she's it's... actually taking stocks. A while back, they buffed down smash, and it, in my opinion, it's well-deserved. Yeah, anything for uh, damage out punch is... Um, Character. One thing that doesn't need buff so is Jer. That's true. Uh, if for whatever reason they ever buff Jer in this game, I will question the validity of this game from multiple aspects. Like for example, why am I playing it when they're just gonna buff Jer? If they ever buff Jer, um, yeah, I'll be going through a rough patch in this game. A pun intended, by the way. Bounce patch, because you know, rough patch. Anyway. Down up smash missing there. I don't know how exactly. 
Does it not I, have Yeah, the... it looked like it should have landed. I th thought it had the reach to reach the PS2 platforms. Uh oh, we got our second up air, and we got our second stock. Clean oh, string coming up out. There. Felix up an entire stock. That was good. Okay, excellent pressure with those uh, options there, especially coming out from Sybe on uh, cross end. That was some good pressure, maintaining it no less, but uh, Felix still sitting pretty at 34% though. That win box. Really good at NFC. That win box looks really funny because uh, uh, Frost was just on the platform, got sucked in and sucked out again. Yeah, so it's like weird stuff like that will happen with like vacuum hitboxes and stuff like that. It just looks like can... melee with a wave dash. Yeah, it looks like a wave dash. Speaking of wave dashing, Kazuya. True! It's free and bag dash is about a hit hit. I haven't even practiced those in Tekken IG. But it, from what I already see, it looks like they're gonna be like somewhat different in this game. Like, it doesn't look like they're like one for one, but I could be wrong. Korean backdash is just that a backdash. You don't need one in this game. Yeah. You're it's kind of just like already there. What you're going to do in this game is crouch cancel. Yup. And that's gonna be a whole different discussion for when that character drops. As for right now, we do. Yeah, we're just look, waiting for someone to take the final stock. Cause yeah, whereas right now they're both at a pretty... Uh, well, I mean, Frost starting to get up there on the percent a little bit. Frost starting to get up there on the percent, we even got our backers coming out from Felix. So it looks like she's just about closing it out, but I mean, of course Frost, being the kind of player that he is, and by that I mean a, a, a good player, a talented one, he's not going to let that fly for free. He's making attempts to try and uh, convert this into his favor, Using Aether to recover on stage, but is that going to be enough? Yeah, he rolls on stage. He's back in center stage, only be down, be back onto the other ledge. So it, it's it's Frost trying to regain control of the match, but Felix is not going to let that come for free here. That was interesting. Side B, side B one into a uh, up air. Yeah. But Frost at double the percent. Dash tech still won't take it because it's cheap. Oh, what well, good DBZ coming out. Good, what? If he just actually would have lost that though, can you imagine? Pretty sure that was trading backers? Somehow? Uh, it looked like it could have been. Yeah, sounds about right. Sounds right to me. Like, to be honest, yeah, sometimes if it's just like trading the exact same move, you'll sometimes just get like weird results like that. Off but of course, town. it's rare. And very strange to see. I'm in town. Have we gotten Smashville at all tonight? I do not believe so. Have we gotten. I think we got in my final destination like once. That sounds about right. We got in Battlefield a lot. Oh, wait, this is Smashville. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is Smashville. I thought it was town. Well, I thought it was town because. Oh, fair enough. Because they hit somewhere. Also, I aesthetically. Yeah, I just heard the um, Animal Crossing music, and I, my mind went to uh, Roy on Town. But instead, huh? we got funny. Yeah. But instead, we got Crom on Smashville. Crom on Smashville was like a that same Roy player like on an alternate account. You know what, Crom and Smashville for today. I'm me fishing for Chromicide. Look at him. Who's fishing for it? Yeah. A fiend, I tell you, a fiend. Oof. Up air taking well, up, that. Up smash, up air. It's closing out stock one of all things. Okay, I'm a little bit surprised, but you know what? Let's see what else happens. Still a couple more stocks to work with. A couple more games. Let's see what happens. Forward tilt. No side B, but we get a dash deck. Side B, interesting choice there. Yeah. Ever since they buffed it for both of the characters, you actually see it in their neutral, which is really funny. Yeah, it's like, uh, just testing out that new toy they got for Christmas, you know? Like, you don't think about it, but then you'll see them, some they'll pull it out like that, and then get yep. a follow-up off of it. Both those spaces. Ooh! Makes it I back, too. I like that Nair, yeah. Went in real deep for that, and it even paid off, even cut the stock. Nice. 
Good aggressive oh. landing with fair. Yeah, and I'm liking these uh, four tilts. Like All the ready from Frost, yup. You can get you off stage, you can get you off screen. You can do everything. Probably you can even do recover. your taxes. Yeah. You could probably use four tilt to recover, to be honest. I'm just thinking how dumb that would be. If you could just pay your taxes. Or if it could help you recover? Yeah. Just forward tilt to recover? I'm just imagining our Krom just falling and up tilting. Or forward tilting. I'm just imagining Krom forward tilt animation, but like in mid-air. <laughs> how weird that would be. Yeah, that's the curse. Before Smash taking it, last stock for both. Yeah, for both of them here, but don't forget, as it is losers finals, this is uh, not quite it for both of these players that they happen to lose. But there is still one more game that can make or break the run. He is going for that uh, punish, unable Oof. to get it. One for it twice in a row. Oh! Roll behind up smash. And the trademark Felix up smash closing out game Boss number three. Quite a finish, no less. Frost on their. Frost has to win two now in a row. Yeah, Frost wanted to make a two game comeback in order to close out this set in his favor. And meanwhile, Felix is pre feeling pretty content with this uh, one game lead. He's ready for grands. I can sense it. I don't know, Fr Frost. No no kind of puts on characters or anything, but he, yeah. I feel like he might be able to hit a little bit differently. We're heading straight back to Smashville. Yeah, straight back to Smashville. There, there's still opportunity in time for Frost to hit just a bit different. Or maybe change... What is it? Uh, this thing that Krom says? What? No one can... Or what is it? Something about changing fate, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just thinking of Shulk's quote of... Uh, what was it? We have the choice to change the feature or something like that. Something corny, man. Some sort of anime corny protagonist quote. You know what I'm thinking of. You can fill yeah. in the blank. You can fill in the blank. Oof. Good narrative mm. coming out. Very risky, too. Almost died twice because of it. Yeah, that one was a little more risky than the one that we saw last game. But, still worked out nonetheless. And we're still keeping up that pressure here with the uh, down here into Nair. Very interesting follow-up. See, so I'm. In my opinion, I think Smashville should be banned because it's not a neutral stage since the platform comes in from the right side. Hmm. Is a pretty valid argument. Yeah. Someone pointed that out to me. I just thought it was funny. Just like how Crom up smash somehow kill. Yup. Up smashes on the on the Croys just seem so weird because they're like multi hits. And they but don't, like they don't move. Yeah, and also just Crom's particle effects look so weird. I think it's supposed to be like a wind property, like like Elwin kind of thing. Like I don't know. Is it? I always just thought of it as like Earth. Earth. I don't, I don't know. know. Like no, mostly because when I um first time I saw Crom neutral B, I just thought it was like raking the Earth or just a normal like sword swing. Huh. I don't know, because like, I didn't play Awakening. I... He doesn't have any sort of power in that game. Yeah, so Back in the most match, though. He just really made that up, huh? Well, Ooh. they had to put, they had to fit something over uh, Roy's Flames. That's true, if they did want to make him an Echo Fighter. So I guess that kind of makes sense. Oh. Yeah, Felix is uh, definitely caught on with, like... How much he's able to just get away with those uh, nares and the like off stage, and she's definitely just making them work. And she's got a even game. Did I say lead? No, I definitely said even game, and I meant to say that as well. It's a decent lead, eighty yeah, percent. Still a decent lead, eighty percent lead. And with how how uh, frequently these games have been coming out, unless Frost got a game plan for it this time around, this could be curtains. No gimp attempt that time. Nah, a little bit too close to ledge that one. We do still have Felix at a pretty comfortable 114 and rising percentage lead here on the last stock. But it is last stock, and if Frost does bring it back, then it'll be a game 5 situation, but that's neither here nor there.
What we do have is Felix in Grand Finals against Ami. We'll be in that started here in just a little bit. In the meantime, congratulations to 